Welcome back to Jazz Grass Gaming, where we're still feeling the consequences of Shane's mistakes. Hey little dogger, do you want to go out? Oh, that's annoying. Aren't you just the most annoying little shit? Get out! Get moving, get moving! Quick, go, go, quick. Go, 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 go. Bitch! Oh yeah, I'm being shot up at the same time. Oh no! <coughs> oh oh no, I'm just no. dying, blame my dog. Yes. Uh. But yeah, man, I don't... Um, Fucking know. hobos in the street. So Ask, asking you to go to the ATM for you. Oh wait, it's this button. Reminds me of last session where I suddenly like where where you and Shane were having a nice conversation. I was just zoning out and playing the game like a beast. Uh, I got pretty far that way. Oh man, zoning out is a great way. Like that's how I fucking blasted through Spec Ops the Line in one day. Oh my god, yeah, dude, holy crap! Taking a fifteen-minute break after every tough decision that it forces you to make. So like, I can't wait to play that on the the game. Like that'll be fun. I've been gaming a lot more lately. I've been trying to make a conscious effort to keep my hobbies going and whatnot. Yeah. So I've been playing Elite Dangerous, and man, that game. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. It's just. The thing about it is, I just, I, 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 I just, I can't seem to get used to, to, to just, just the, 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 the scariness of it all. <laughs> the, the grandness the, of the, 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 the grandness of well, the scheme of it all. The thing is, you know, like skimming right by a gas giant just scares the it is very shit scary. out of me. I, I can imagine. And when I'm traveling through space at a high velocity. Like, one of my big fears is being in a warp drive and then suddenly warping into a fucking sun. Like, I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like it's a logical, like, a, a, a totally rational fear to have, but I never really hear other people talking about it. So I always feel like a bit of a weirdo. I mean, at least I haven't been, I, I mean, you know, at least I haven't actually flown into any stars yet. <laughs> Did almost crash into a station by forgetting to t disengage my super crews. I mean that uh, that is bound to happen one day. Just um, like everybody is bound to crash a car at least once in his in their life. Oh, got right in the fucking head, son. But yeah, yesterday. So I I I uh, I, I, I fly a spaceship like an old man. I'm very scared. I know as well. I was watching you. I was like, jeez, come on, grandpa. Uh, like I, I can only imagine you going through dr like driver's lessons. Like the poor driver instructor is going to be, dude, no, you, you have a right pedal, you can push it. Don't worry, <laughs> you're allowed. You're allowed to drive 50 kilometers an the hour. Is, it's, it's just I just in space. I don't trust. It. Like even though you have way more space. In exactly. Space, I'm just deadly afraid of accidentally getting sucked in by the sun or whatever the fuck that's the thing is that weird phobia i mean that's, that, that's how i feel back. about the whole thing because it's like you got so much space brian I what know. are you worried about about hitting something you got you got literal fucking millions of miles between you and the next fucking star you, you're not just gonna oops i'm gonna drive into it you're gonna see that coming nice yeah, but also just just when you get out of the the the, high, the space warp, like the fat. Warp oh yeah, drive. I love that. Well, when you pop out of that, and it's just like it's just. What's sun up? Going like <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really good exposure therapy for you, Brian. Oh, fuck me, man. I I need emotional support while playing that game. I, I because otherwise, I literally am sitting like whenever I go into f the high, uh, the warp drive, I just go like, oh, I don't. Oh god, here we go. One of these days, I'm gonna crash to the suns, and I'm just gonna get a heart attack. But yeah, I was driving so slow last night that that's that a pirate managed to interfere with my super cruise and just kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was flying a hauler. It's not a very good fighter. I can imagine. I can imagine it's used for different. Oh, what the fuck is up, dude? Damn, uh, <laughs> they got the they guess they got the jump on you, didn't they? Well, I got the jump on them. They didn't even know I was oh. there. Oh yeah, you are a stealthy boy. I am invisible. Oh. Alright. Not invisible anymore. Fuck you. Another right. dudes who need some fucking re education. What a fucking setback. Oh yeah, dude, th like like the amount of fucking <laughs> time that it throws you back, like it's crazy. So here's the thing, I'm still completely addicted to War Thunder, right? So I'm still playing a lot of War Thunder. Yes, yes. Um, I'm still play. Uh, you know, I'm I'm, a, I'm recording my first so a solo playthrough. Check it out on Jazz Grass Anime. Uh, Crystalline. And 
I'm also like trying to play Dead Space. Wait, Dead Space? Uh, and Dead Space, uh, Elite Dangerous. I was just gonna say, like, Dead, Dead Space. Space is not a game for you. No, no, no. That's like, I game. know you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dead Space is not a game that I'd be playing anytime soon. Like, I wouldn't uh, even want to play that uh, game. That uh, shit's scary, son. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remember uh, Amnesia? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That horror game? Not the weed I'm smoking, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm trying to remember Amnesia. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't get through the first five minutes of it because I was just too spooked out. That's how spook comes quickly spook ups I get like the Slender Man game I didn't get to the first note I was I was already too scared I see that house and I'm and I'm like nope there's gonna be shit in that house I don't know maybe my dad shouldn't Fuck. have let me play fear when I was six I think that would have helped fear holy shit he let you play that when you were six <laughs> yeah, me no, I, I I'm gonna call like child like, protective services I was like seven or eight I like when did fear come out uh, well, when you were seven or eight, I don't know, man. Like, check, I'm pretty sure my dad bought it right after it came out. Cause that's a fucking fucked up game, dude. Yeah, it is. It is. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty spookums. Uh, but that again, my dad's not the world's best dad, though, is he? I mean, yeah, is it in some ways? No, I'm looking for. Um. Um. No, I'm looking for the old um. one. 2005, I was actually, if you could believe this, um, I think, yeah, Oct October 17, 2005, so I was, I was only just nine years old. Jeez, that, that's uh, a lot to take in for a nine-year-old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I mean, yeah, I remember playing it and, and being scared shitless. I didn't play it a lot, I played it like once or twice and got scared shitless twice. Understandable. Um, that's yeah. not that's not a good game for a kid to play, so <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I have to call child protective services like like with, with like like with with, 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 with post fucking power. Post traumatic stress syndrome. Yeah, mean? something like that. Hey <laughs> I mean um uh, you know, I mean, I, I, the weird thing is, like, horror movies, I'm completely fine. I don't yeah, know. they were right. But it's I think it's the interactivity genre. of the video game. Because I always get really immersed in a game, right? Um, that's why I get so easily spooked. Because, I'm, I, you know, I like to really you know, get, you get, like in, to get in it. Yeah, I like to really dig my nails into it. Uh, maybe that's why I enjoyed those uh, those old school uh, roleplay servers of San Andreas multiplayer so much. Um, come on, come on, role just role fucking play. hit Man, that shit was the bomb. Ooh, Such ooh. a toxic community as well. Holy shit, I, I can imagine. Everyone hated each other's guts. And then there was like a, like a tight knit group of friends and stuff that, that were all like veterans on the server, right? Um, Finally! You know, and and you know, they were all oh, cool shit. with each other, but if they didn't know you, man, they, they literally scoffed at people, bro. Oh, they they would uh, they would actually assholes. because they were like they so they measured someone uh, the value of someone by a couple of things how well uh, do they spell how well do they use grammar and how well do they use the techniques uh, of mate, role if, playing, if, if if you uh, care about grammar you're a textual fucking child role playing right um, and they will judge your uh, your entire personality just based on those three things now I, I'm pre I'm I'm pretty solid at all of those. Okay, chunky boys are gonna drop in now, I think. But uh, yeah, yep, no, I never chunky really, boys. I never right, really got too close one. with those people, um, you know, on those servers because I don't know. It it just feels like like they they set these weird expectations of like this whole code of conduct or like the whole like oh what you're supposed how you're supposed to be how you're not supposed to be. And I was always more on the playful side of things, you know. I yeah, was like, oh, fun. let's let's go and play a game, and buy some drugs, and sell some drugs. Maybe get on a little police chase. It'll be funny. And then you get banned because, like, oh, you're not supposed to get into a police chase. Why not? Uh, because it breaks it other people's immersion. No, no, no. Because if it happens too often, it's no longer realistic. 
I was like, well, okay, wh what the fuck, what? <laughs> How do you regulate that? What do you mean to walk? Like, is it just forbidden Oof. altogether? No, we only allow it in just certain cases. All right. Fucking did it. Weird, yeah, Fucking did it. I don't know. I got I was, uh... <sighs> Finally. Right. Now, we've almost caught up. We're actually, we're, we're at actually the, we're on at the, track. Yeah. We're on schedule for for taking for overtaking last yes. session and be, to actually do, because so far we haven't done anything productive. We've been to the city, got some weed, been to McDonald's, and we got back, and it was already like 4:20. And then uh, now we're here, and we uploaded some videos. Now we're here. We gotta make sure that we do more. <laughs> that we dip with shade. <laughs> I know, right? Because otherwise, it still feels unproductive. Right, beat me up, Scotty. Unproductive, improductive. Uh, you know what? Deep productive. Deep productive. I like that one. That's the most wrong one, so we'll we'll, we'll take it. Sir, your deep productivity is just too high. <laughs> Purple screen. I love how that that's how they did it back then. All right, so fuck. I gotta I gotta get the health quick. Where's the health? Oh man, they really drop you in with mm -hmm. nothing. They just keep it how, how it was, dude. Damn. What I kind of like about it, though. Oh, I can sneak around with this. Hmm. Oh, you know where I am. What Woo. the hell is the point of invisibility? Well, I guess because he's invisible, he can see invisible guys. Makes kind of sense. Kind of. Is there another invisible dude? Or is that just on legendary? Wait, there he is. No, I remember there being more invisible dudes with yeah. swords. Oh. Maybe your friends got him. <laughs> Good joke, Brian. I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it up. Oh, you're out of ever. Oh, yeah, shit, I am. Uh, let me pick up a different gun. Hello? Uh, uh, hello? No, he oh, had a sword. He, you're not allowed to pick that up yet, right? In the no, next game? Only in the next game. They figured that out. Uh, there you are. Not my favorite gun. Oh, fuck. Yeah, get, get, oh, get mad, get mad. I'll take you out while you're mad, son. So, come on to Conquer Renegade, right? That's uh, a game that I want to play after this. Yes. Oh, hold on, everybody. Hello. We are Ata. What's the name of Ata? Uh, 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 we're gonna upstella. Man, lately I haven't been able to do any jazz grass sessions without people. Without at least me. once being interrupted, I know. It's crazy. Maybe I'm just gonna fucking put a lock on my door and like uh, like code it all in like uh, soundproofing foam so that even if they knock, I won't hear it. You could put a you could put a note like on a, the door. No, just put like a little light on it. It's like recording or something like. And just like make, uh, just have to make the door such a way that even if they knock, I don't hear it. <laughs> just coat it in foam, like uh, like I can't knock on your door because it's all covered in foam. I know. Get yeah. over here, you son of a bitch! Why do you bitch? think I did that? It's because I got tired of y'all motherfuckers barging in here. All right, we did it. We did it. We made it past past change. Horrible mistake. Now not, not, now don't push that little button randomly for some reason. I don't know how he did it. It's very impressive. Well, he stood in that corner and then he pressed the button. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was the controller that he broke. Yeah. So he did something with the controller while it's standing in that corner and that fucked it all up. Oh, wait, I gotta go around or something. Yeah, because they can't go through because Cortana's gotta go hack into the mainframe. Cortana's gotta go hack into the mainframe. Yeah. And what an early, <laughs> early 2000s. Stop dodging and weaving, on. son! Do people even, like, do people even still like so mainframes right yeah they're no longer they are of course they aren't used but no longer as, as because these days we just like we don't really what even is a mainframe well Ryan? okay so oh fuck i used to know this Hold <laughs> i used to go to school i used to know this oh fuck you i uh so a mainframe there's a difference between like just a regular server database whatever and a mainframe. Mainframe is like uh, like old-fashioned technology, right? So that's like you had like your your computer, 
uh, with all the, the, the all the systems and um, you know that computer you, that, that that held like your data and whatnot and uh, that was what allowed the terminals of your computer to access data and stuff like it was like an internal network server right mm-hmm um, but of course much more elaborate and difficult to use now these days we just have servers and interfaces GUIs or just like you know we've got it figured out pretty much any old shit computer can run like a, like an old Unix and then just set up a little server um, but back in those days you know you didn't really you know the internet wasn't that good or useful so people just use, you know, companies use mainframes. And those mainframes what? usually use, like, Unix. Um, and there's still, like, people getting paid, um, you know, hundreds of thousands of euros or dollars per year um, in order to maintain those mainframes. Because uh, it, uh, it, with some companies that use, for example, sensitive data, you see that Fuck. a lot in the military, right? Um, you know, when they, uh, you know, when it comes to like sensitive data that they absolutely cannot uh, have released or whatever. Um. Oh yeah. Yes. So I was reading the subtitles, but so oh yeah, uh, into these the dudes, you know, those are just people that ha that still know how to use this old, co uh, you know, programming language. Fucking hit him! Stop hitting above him! And, um, <laughs> I was gonna say I'm gonna hit him until it's the death of me, but I did. It was the death of him. So... <laughs> next time on Jazz, guys, I'm gonna talk some more about people getting paid a lot of money to do a lot, a of, lot of old stuff. See ya! See ya, wouldn't wanna be him. <laughs>